Hey everybody, it's your good friend Lukey, and I recently wrote a book, Inside the Ropes of Boxing, with a foreword by Jill Diamond of the WBC Cares. Oh, that's me right there. Anyways, it's on Amazon. Be sure to check it out. We've gotten really good spawn. Final thing, you once told me that Mike Stafford told you that you came out of nowhere. I'm going to ask you to tell that story, but elaborate on how that that story came to be. Set the stage and explain yeah. how he said that. Yeah, so I I've uh, I started training fighters here in Louisville, Kentucky. I didn't have a I didn't have a background in boxing. Um, I wasn't affiliated with any boxing gym or any boxers or any trainers. And uh, I began just training fight training fighters in my basement, um, doing amateur fights. Uh, we were we would take fights up in Cincinnati. The first year we lost we lost a considerable we lost all the fights. Matter of fact, and uh, it wasn't close. They were running us out of the gym, and uh, I took I kept training, kept working. We didn't go back up there for about a year and a half. We went back up there, won some fights. Uh, my fighters kept progressing. We went to some national tournaments, had some kids win some national tournaments. And uh, I was at a national tournament and Mike came up to me. This is probably only within a few years of me getting into boxing. And he uh, he said, hey, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a second. I said, yeah, what's going on? He said, uh, I just want to let you know that I know who you are. And I said, OK, well, I know who you are as well. And uh, he, he said, no, hold up. I'm, I want to talk. And he said, I, I just want you to know that I've done boxing my entire life and people don't come out of nowhere. He said, but uh, somehow you've came out of nowhere. He said, and I'm a fan. And, uh, you know, I just want to tell you, keep up the good work. And a lot of people have noticed. So I've worked I've worked real close with Mike in, in several uh, several scenarios. They come down here to Louisville, fight on the shows we got. Uh, he'd also made me one of the coaches of the Cincinnati Golden Gloves uh, franchise in 2021. So I went to uh, the Nationals with the Cincinnati team, coached uh, a bunch of his fighters in the tournament. So I've worked I've worked pretty close with him. Um, we've got a loose affiliation. You know, our programs aren't directly linked, uh, but I've also tried to uh, – be real respectful of the amount of um, information and knowledge that he's offered me. So he's helped mentor me. If I need to call him, I can call him right now. Uh, you know, we, we work together on certain projects and uh, the guy's awesome dude. And I'm real privileged to know Mike Stafford. So if Mike's listening, shout out Mike Stafford. Love y'all up in Cincinnati. Thanks for you all always showing us love. What's one thing you tell Mike? on here into like all five of my listeners that you've never told him. Um, I love you, Mike. So, uh, you know, that, that's something that, uh, that's something that, that, you know, I, I, I've grown real fond of the guy. He's helped me out a lot. Um, you know, I, I have told him, I have told him and I've, and I usually don't do a lot of talking when we do speak. I like to listen. Um, but I have told him how much I appreciate him. I appreciate his program and uh, how much I admire him as a coach. He's an excellent trainer and he's an awesome dude. And uh, he's helped thousands and thousands and thousands of kids, uh, which is more important and bigger than the world championships. So the impact that he's had on his community in Cincinnati and even down here in Louisville has uh, been immeasurable. And I'm a big fan and, and, Keep rocking and rolling, Mike. You know, we love you a little. It's pretty cool. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes the video. This is a passion project, and I'm just trying to do the best I can.